Whew. I'm going to have to clear out some of these chestnuts that keep falling from the tree before we can have our tea party. here. Huh? Choco! It's time for us to go to Rainbow Village. Come on! <laughs> Let's hurry! They need our help! <laughs> Ready, Choco? was a good morning, Rainbow Ruby, but unfortunately it's not. We have a big problem. Well, I'm here to help. Thank goodness. Follow me and I'll show you what's going on. <gasps> Everyone's so excited for the Rainbow Ball Tournament. It only happens once a year. Villagers come from miles around. But how can they play Rainbow Ball with all of these Poke Pods covering the field? Poke Pods? They're the prickly pokey seeds that grow in our beautiful pokey pod trees. Unfortunately, every spring the pods drop to the ground and can cause problems. Hmm. hmm. Ouch! These pods are really pokey. See what I mean? That's why they're so hard to clear away. I hope we don't have to cancel the event. Everyone will be so disappointed. Huh? said, it's just not that easy to clear away Poke Pods. When does the Rainbow Bowl Tournament begin? This afternoon. We don't have much time. Hmm. How can I help? I need a way to clear the fields of these pods. A way that is easy and doesn't hurt anyone's hands. And I need to be fast, since the tournament is going to start soon. Huh? Oh. across the field. That gives me an idea. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. Ooh. How can I help? What? my golf club to hit all these pokey pods off the field. Then the field will be cleared up in time for the Rainbow Ball Tournament. This visor will keep the sun out of my eyes. These shoes with cleats will keep me from slipping on the grass. And the gloves will keep my hands from slipping on the club. I'll roll the pods onto a tee and then use my club to whack them off the field. Whoa. Taco, would you mind being my caddy and carrying my golf bag? <laughs> Do you have room to add another golfer to the game? Of course, Thunderbell. <laughs> and one more? Ah. I'd like to try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play golf! I love golf! At least, I think I love 
love golf? I forgot that I never played before. Here, let me show you how golf works. You line up the golf ball in front of you, and then you swing and hit it in the direction where you want it to land. This isn't working, Rainbow Ruby. The pods are flying in every direction. It's dangerous. Huh? <laughs> yeah! Ah! Ooh. I think I just figured out how we can clear the Pokepods Ooh. away in time for the Rainbow Ooh. Ball Tournament. The park is the perfect place to hit the pods, but not the bottom of the slide. There isn't room. Not the carousel. They'll fall out when it turns. <gasps> the bucket! You're right, Chaco. We can whack the Pokepods in and they won't roll out. Great idea, Chaco. Places, everybody. Here we go. I'm afraid we won't be delaying the tournament. Because we'll be playing golf instead. Villagers arriving for Rainbow Ball saw you and the others hitting pods down your mini golf course. They thought it looked fun. Who knew cleaning up the field would be so popular? Who else wants to play Rainbow Mini Golf? <laughs> <laughs> golf tournament instead of Rainbow Ball. Everybody loves it. And it's a great way to clean up Pokepods. Thank you so much, Rainbow Ruby. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Yeah. Whoa! Where did all the chestnuts go? Ruby? Huh? Ready for some chestnut pie? So that's where they went! Thanks, Mom! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> wow! 
What are you looking for, Mom? <gasps> My ring. I looked all over the backyard. Maybe I dropped it in the car. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Maybe she lost her ring in this pile of weeds when she was weeding today. Do you think, Choco? I guess we'll have to find out later. Hurry, Choco. They must really need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come. you? <laughs> of course it's me. Why aren't you wearing your glasses, Ling Ling? You can't see without them. Someone took them. They're gone. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Who would take things that don't belong to them in Rainbow Village? I think there's a thief in Rainbow Village. Things have gone missing right and left, like my knit cap. And my knitting needles. And Jesse's wet crayon. <laughs> Don't worry, Jesse. We'll find your crayon. Can you help us, Rainbow Ruby? I'll do my best. Hmm. I'll need to observe carefully, collect clues, and be a good problem solver. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. being a detective. I'll track down clues to find out who took your glasses and all of the other missing things. I've got paw print powder for finding paw print clues. A magnifying glass for seeing clues up close. A camera to take pictures and a notepad to keep track of our mystery clues. Huh? <laughs> oh! And my best helper, Private Investigator Jocko. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> First, we're going to ask everyone questions. Starting oh, with Ling Ling. Ling Ling, show us where you last remember seeing your glasses. You're sure they were right here? I remember taking off my glasses as I was falling asleep at my desk. I had a delightful dream that Princess Kiki gave me a bouquet of pink princess posies. Good thing it was only a dream. You're allergic to those flowers. Indeed I am. And when I woke up from my dream, my glasses were gone. Here. Hmm? Hey, that looks like a track from Thunderbell's scooter. Ling Ling, did Thunderbell stop by? Why, yes. You don't think he's the thief, do you? No, no, not our Thunderbell. So, what did you do next? I looked all over Town Hall. And I looked around the village. I stopped and talked to Tina. Uh -uh. Oh. And then I talked to Ellie. Uh. And I even talked to Jessie. But no one's seen my glasses anywhere. They just disappeared. Don't worry, we'll find them. Let's talk to Gina next. Yup, left my good hat right there on the bow while I was below deck. But when I got back, it was gone. Hmm, 
Choco, you dust for prints and I'll look for other clues. Prince, Linglings, Thunderbells, and one other. Maybe they're yours, Gina. Huh? Gina, press your hands down on the dust. They match. Does that mean I'm the thief? <laughs> no, no. It just means that the thief was very clever not to leave Prince. So, when did Thunderbell come by? A while ago. He lost the spare tire for his scooter. Well, that explains that. Come on, let's go see Ella. <laughs> it was right here, my knitting needle. Uh... But when I went to look for it, it was gone. I can't knit with just one needle. Don't panic, Gally. We'll <gasps> solve the mystery. Hmm. Huh? Huh? What's a carrot doing in my knitting basket? Carrots. Why would our pal Thunderbell take Ling Ling's glasses? We shouldn't jump to any conclusions, Gina. A good detective always collects lots of clues before solving a mystery. Let's go see what Jessie has to say. Mm -hmm. Jessie's red crayon was here. Now, no more crayon. <laughs> Look at the sand! Rabbit footprints. Has anyone seen Thunderbell lately? Last I saw, he was over by the post office mm -hmm. working on a scooter. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Thunderbell. Mm -hmm. Everything okay? Oh, hey, Rainbow Ruby. Yeah, I just forgot how to put my scooter back together. What's up? Thunderbell, did you happen to go to Ling Ling's office, Gina's ship, Ellie's barn, and Jessie's sandbox today? Sure did. I've been looking everywhere for the spare tire for my scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Chaco. I must have tripped on Jessie's yo-yo. What's that doing here? <laughs> Hey, that's not a yo-yo. That's my spare tire. Spare tire? Oh my, oh my. I can't see anything without my glasses. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I might know who took all of the missing things. You, you do? do? Follow me. Only Ling Ling and Thunderbell were at every place where something was missing. So one of you must have accidentally borrowed all those things that didn't belong to you. Huh? Ling Ling, while you were looking for your glasses, did you take any <gasps> other things? Why, yes. I found my trunk warmer at Gina's. I recognized my back scratcher at Ellie's, and my red marker somehow wound up at Jessie's. I knew it! When you thought Thunderbell's spare tire was a yo-yo, I realized you could hardly see without your glasses. why you thought Gina's knit hat was your trunk warmer, and Ellie's knitting needle was your back scratcher, and Jessie's red crayon was your red marker. <gasps> <gasps> oh my, oh my. I did take all of those things by accident. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, oh no problem. Hmm, Ling Ling's glasses must be here somewhere. Right, Ling Ling? Oh, indeed they do. Well, I think that when you dreamed about the Princess Posies, you sneezed your glasses off your desk. Huh? And onto your clock. <gasps> My glasses! I can see again. Hopefully, 
we can find Mom's ring in these weeds. Hmm. If Mom was wearing gloves when she was pulling weeds, maybe her ring slipped off in one of them. <gasps> Mom! Look what I found! <gasps> My ring! Oh, Ruby! How did you ever find it? Oh, just a little detective work. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Huh? <gasps> a prince! He's a perfect match for Princess Kiki. Mom and Dad must be planning to give you to me for my birthday tomorrow. I'm going to call him Prince Frederick. Huh. I'll see you soon, Prince Frederick. Chaco and I have to go now. Choco, looks like they need our help in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! Oh, Rainbow Ruby, I'm so glad you're here. You look worried, Mayor Ling Ling. How can I help? Oh, my, oh, my. Princess Kiki invited Prince Frederick to visit Rainbow Village. They've been pen pals for a long time. Now he's finally here. She must be so happy to meet him. Oh, yes, indeed. The problem is, huh? she threw him a big party at the Rainbow Village restaurant, but it's not going well. The prince isn't having a good time. <gasps> Poor Kiki. I'll go see how I can help. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Good luck. Whoa. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Crumpet, Prince Frederick. Um, okay. Thank you. <gasps> oh, Rainbow huh? Ruby, thank goodness you're here. This isn't going well at all. Huh? Everything looks beautiful, Kiki. What's the problem? Everyone seems to be having a nice time, except for my guest of honor, Prince Frederick. <sighs> hmm, he doesn't look like he's having much fun, does he? Kiki, I'll help you. <laughs> Let's see. To help Kiki throw a party that's fun for Prince Frederick, I'll have to be thoughtful, <sighs> creative, and organized. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. <laughs> How can I help? What? Planner. I'll plan all sorts of things that Frederick likes so he can enjoy his welcome party. I'll use my pen and clipboard to keep track of all the important planning details. These walkie-talkie headsets will help me keep in touch with my team when we're not in the same room. And I'll check my watch to make sure everything happens on time. First thing I need to do is find out what Frederick likes the most. Then I'll plan a party around his favorite things. Chaco, I'll need you to stay here in case I need anything. But first, I've got a prince to find. <laughs> wow. Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. The nature in Rainbow Village is fascinating. Hello, I'm 
Prince Frederick, uh, but you can call me Frederick. Oh, pleased to meet you, Frederick. I'm Rainbow Ruby, and this is my friend Felicia. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I've never seen wings quite like that. What kind of bug are you? Uh, huh? I beg your pardon. I'm a fairy. <laughs> You really like bugs and nature and stuff, huh, Frederick? I sure do. There's nothing quite as wonderful as nature's creatures. Oh, look! Huh? A purple sparkle wing! Hmm. That's it! Frederick loves bugs, so I'll throw him a buggy bonanza party. Felicia, I could really use your help. Helping is our specialty. Great. If you could keep him distracted, I can start party planning. We're on it, Rainbow Ruby. We've got a lot of work to do, Chaco. You'll need decorations, food, and entertainment for a one-of-a-kind, prince-pleasing party. Rainbow Ruby, looks like Prince Frederick is truly enjoying the party. <laughs> it sure does. Huh? But now I don't think Kiki is. What's wrong, <sighs> Princess Kiki? Aren't you enjoying the party? Oh, you did such a lovely job, Rainbow Ruby. I'm so grateful that Frederick is finally enjoying himself. Oh. Uh, I guess princesses are just more huh? used to royal balls than hmm. bugs. You're right, Kiki. This party is all about Prince Frederick. But you should both be able to enjoy the party. Hmm, there must be a way to combine Frederick's love of nature with Princess Kiki's royal tastes. Kiki! Did you really like it? I know how much you liked your bug party, but I also wanted to show you a bit of my royal style. I love it! I can't believe you did all this for me. 
I couldn't have done any of it without help from my friends, especially <laughs> Rainbow <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> 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 Kiki. Kiki, this is Frederick. I see you found your birthday present. Oh, I'm sorry, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's paint a picture, Choco. Let's see. How about a purple bird in a green tree? Hmm. Aw, I only have red, yellow, and blue. <gasps> I know. I can mix them to make other colors. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? <gasps> Uh-oh, I spilled. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> oh no! Huh? We'll have to clean this up later. Looks like they need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! here. Suddenly, Rainbow Village is a wet, drippy, colorful mess. I was delivering a package when all of a sudden something went splat on my scooter. And squished huh? in my ship. Huh? And left spots on my dress. Uh oh, Jessie's messy. Oh no, this is all because of me. The paint I spilled is all over Rainbow Village. Oh. 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 Everything in the village has come to a complete stop. It's too slippery and messy to go out and about. Can you help us, Rainbow Ruby? I'll try my best, Ling Ling, but it's going to take a team effort to get all this cleaned up. Excuse me, Rainbow Ruby. It's just that, well... Princesses don't really like to get messy or do huh? clean-up chores. Kiki, we need everyone's help for a job this big. And if we all work together, it won't be so bad. It might even be fun. <gasps> hmm. To be helpful, I can't be afraid to get messy. I'll need lots of energy for a job this big. And I'll need to make sure everyone's in a good mood oh. so they'll want to help. <laughs> Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. Ah! How can I help? What do I need to do this job today? How can I help? What do I need to save the day? I can help by being a cleanup engineer. I'll put a cleanup team together to wash away all this paint and make Rainbow Village sparkle. This apron will keep my clothes from getting dirty. I have rubber gloves to protect my hands, a bucket, sponge, and soap for wiping up the spilled paint, some spray cleaner, and a window washer. This is going to take some teamwork. Ready to clean, everybody? Oh. <laughs>
Job, but we still have to clean Town Hall and the beauty shop. Oh. <laughs> hmm, let's see. We need something to keep us going. Something fun. Like a game! Yeah. Oh, oh, I love games! <laughs> we can have a cleanup relay race. <laughs> One team will clean Town Hall, and the other team will clean the beauty shop. First team to finish cleaning wins! <laughs> Ready, everyone? Uh-huh! On your mark, get set, clean! <laughs> Soapy water. Mm -hmm. But first, mm -hmm. these poppies need to get clean. Into the fountain you go! <laughs> now it's time to get soapy and clean that paint. <laughs> and a little music always makes cleaning more fun.
everyone. We couldn't have done it without you, Rainbow Ruby. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. <laughs> Guess there's still a lot more cleanup to do. Would this help? Huh? It won't take long if we do it together. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Can I bring you anything to help you feel better? Like you always do for me when I'm sick? Oh, thanks, honey. It's just a cold. I'll take some vitamin C, honey and lemon, chicken soup, but mainly lots of rest. Oh, starting now. Okay, Mom. I hope you feel better. Thanks, hon. Hmm? Oh, someone needs help in Rainbow Village. Hurry, Choco. Time to go. much for coming. I need your help with the mayor's ball, and I was on my way to greet you when I was overwhelmed by a great sneeze. We heard. <sighs> Ling Ling, you don't look well. I'm afraid I have a bit of a runny nose. <clears throat> and for some reason, I keep sniff, huh? sniff. Sneeze, that was a trunk tornado. Huh? Oh no! Ah! Poor Ling Ling. Oh my, I can't stop sneezing and messing up all of the decorations for the mayor's ball tonight. You don't want to do that. Let's see. I need to find a way to take good care of you and help you feel better. Oh. Hmm? Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow. How can I help? What do I need to do this job today? How can I help? What do I need to save the day? I can help by being a doctor. That's the perfect job to take care of someone who's not feeling well. I have a thermometer to take Ling Ling's temperature to see if he has a fever. And an otoscope to look in his eyes and nose. <laughs> <laughs> a prescription pad to write down things to do to get better. And my rainbow medical book with all of the information I need to find out what's wrong. Oh! And I can use this stethoscope to listen to Ling Ling's heartbeat. Come, Ling Ling, I'm taking you to the medical clinic to examine you. Greetings, friends. Ling Ling. I brought you more pink princess posies for the mayor's ball. They're from my royal garden. Thank you for carrying my flowers, Thunderbell. Would you please take these inside as well? Oh, uh, uh, sure thing, Princess Kiki. <laughs> uh, 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 
Uh, thank you, Princess Kiki. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Goodness, it sounds like someone has the sniffles. Here, you can use my royal hanky. This is what princesses are supposed to do. Uh, 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 <gasps> sorry. Oh. Princess Kiki, while I help Ling Ling get better, would you please work on getting the ballroom ready? You mean get ready for my royal entrance? She means the ballroom's not going to be ready for tonight by magic. Someone's got to decorate it. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Gina, you and Kiki can get the ballroom ready while I help Ling Ling get over his cold. Come on, Princess. Let's get some friends together and get to work. Oh. Let's get started. Thermometer, please, Nurse Choco. First, I'm going to take your temperature, Ling Ling. We have to wait a little bit to see what your real temperature is, so I'll listen to your heartbeat next. Hmm, not bad. Let's have a look. Huh? Temperature normal? I usually get a little temperature when I have a cold. Maybe I didn't leave it in long enough. Now we'll look in your eyes. Both eyes red and watery. Now let's check your trunk. <laughs> nice save, Choco. Well, it doesn't look like you have a fever, Ling Ling. Ears, throat, and mouth good. Herping and breathing good. No stuffed up. Eyes all red and watery, but no fever. Hmm. Honey and lemon tea and a nice nap should help you feel as good as new. Uh, thank you. Ah. Hot tea makes me drowsy. Ooh, ah. You don't have to worry about a thing, Ling Ling. I'll stay with you. Choco will check the ballroom. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. I'll close my eyes for just a... Much better, thank you. No stuffiness, no itchy eyes. Ah, I'm not stuffy anymore. That's good, but colds don't usually go away so fast. Hey, Ling Ling. Huh. We wanted to let you know we finished decorating the ballroom. It looks fantastic. And we brought some of my pink princess posies to cheer you up. Why, thank you. I... <laughs> 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 I don't understand. I was feeling so much better. Your symptoms are back, Ling Ling. Strange. Colds don't usually come and go so fast. Hmm. <laughs> hmm? Allergies, but I was better. Yes, until the pink princess posies arrived. <clears throat> if my pink posies are fit for a princess, they're good enough for a mayor. How beautiful they smell. Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> Goodness! So sorry. <sighs> hmm. oh, you have Sneezy Weezy Bouquet Allergy. You're allergic to Kiki's Pink Princess Posies. That means they make you sneeze and wheeze, but not everyone else. I sure am lucky to have a wonderful doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Mayor's Ball. Our special guest of honor is Rainbow Ruby. Without her help, I'd still be sneezing. Let the music begin. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. I hope you feel better soon, Mom. Huh? Just in case. Would you like to give it a name, Ruby? Huh? I sure would. I'll go to my room and start thinking of just mm. the right name right now. <laughs> Looks like we're needed in Rainbow Village, Choco. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Ruby, it's so good to see you. Something very fishy is going on. Something fishy? Why, yes. There's a very big fish in Rainbow Lake, and something seems to be wrong with him. Don't worry, Ling Ling. Now that Choco and I are here, whatever's wrong, we'll help make it right. <sighs> what a beautiful fish. What's wrong with him, Gina? I think he hurt himself while we were playing, but I'm not sure. Don't worry, I'm here to help. But first, tell me what happened. Well, it all started when Jesse and I were heading home. Help me. 
me fix him up in case he's been hurt. The snorkeling gear I'm wearing will help me watch him closely while we're in the water. And this tag can be put on his tail so we can find him yeah. and check up on him. Yeah! <laughs> but first, in order to take good care of him, we have to find out what kind of fish he is. Huh? Oh, hi, Rainbow Ruby. Shark! <laughs> no, Thunderbell. I don't think he's a shark. And he's too big to be a goldfish, that's for sure. Let's see. Hey, he's not a fish at all. He's a dolphin. A baby dolphin. <laughs> uh. <sighs> that's the perfect name, Choco. So, little dolphin, how about we call you Dolph? Right, Gina. Dolph probably scratched his flipper when he was stuck in the net. Don't worry, Dolph. This special medicine will help you feel better in no time. <laughs> now we'll put a bandage on it to keep it clean while it heals. <laughs> there! Looks like you're feeling better already. Like you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like delicious thunder fruit when you're hungry. <laughs> Eat up, Dolph. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Rainbow Ruby? We have to feed him something. Mm hmm. Let's see. It says here baby dolphins like milk. <laughs> Baby like Jessie's sippy cup milk. <laughs> Here. Here. Drink <laughs> <Think> it up. <laughs> I'm gonna find that net and make sure Dolph doesn't get stuck in it ever again. Time for you to swim home. Don't go. Oh. I know it's hard to say goodbye, Jesse, but Dolph needs to be with his dolphin family. Hey, how about we all go together to help Dolph find his family? what a group of dolphins is called. Gosh, I don't see his pod anywhere. Maybe Dolph's pod can't hear him. Call them again, Dolph. Only this time, make your voice really loud. <laughs> Dolph's voice still isn't loud enough for them to hear. What are we gonna do? Hmm, maybe we can make dolphin <laughs> sounds too. Come on, everybody, let's help Dolph call his pod. Dolphins! Dolphins! We did it! Dolph's 
Lucy, you'll see Dolph again someday. to make the noodles very long. Maybe long noodles should be called noodles. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> Look, Choco can do the limbo under the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> nice dancing, Choco. Huh? Uh, Mom, I think after that dancing, Choco needs a nap. Okay, honey. Looks like they need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! Oh, thank goodness you're here, Rainbow Ruby. Today is our annual Rainbow Village Noodle Festival. The festival celebrates good health, and everyone has been looking forward to it all year. Noodle Festival? We love noodles! <laughs> I'm afraid the festival is in trouble. We really need your help. What's wrong, Ling Ling? Come with me. I'll show you. <sighs> grow on a tree here? <clears throat> of course. Our noodle tree grows long, long noodles and has a long, long life. Wow! I can't wait to see it! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> I've never been to a noodle festival before. No one looks very festive. What's everyone looking at? <laughs> Must be the noodle tree. But where are all the noodles? <laughs> What's the problem? The noodle tree has only grown two noodles this year. <laughs> it's a disaster. Whatever shall we do? Maybe we should ask the noodle tree what's wrong. Hello, oh great noodle tree. Why have you only grown two noodles this year? Huh? The tree says it grows noodles for seven years. Then it takes a rest. Seven years? <gasps> Let's see. There was the year I ate six bowls of noodles, and the year I won the noodle race, and then was a family to get Oh, yep. It's been seven years. Oh, that means no noodle festival this year. Rainbow Ruby, can you help save the noodle festival? Hmm. 
If the noodle tree won't make noodles this year, then I'll have to find another way. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. Got my chef's hat and apron in case things get messy. And a recipe book which tells me how to make perfect noodles. Using a rolling pin to roll out the dough, a strainer to take the noodles out of the hot water, bowls to serve them, and chopsticks to eat them. Come on, guys, let's make oodles of noodles. <laughs> the ingredients we need are just flour and water and freshly washed hands. Together, they make noodle dough. noodles are very long, just like the tree's long life. And they're all the colors of the rainbow. He's right. Huh? It's true. Long and huh? pretty. Hmm. I need to figure out how to make them super long and colorful. What's that, Choco? The recipe book says berry juice can be used to color food? Hmm. That's a great idea. There's a whole crop of rainbow berries on Rainbow Village Farm. They're very colorful. Perfect! Gina, do you think you can fly your ship to the farm and bring back lots of juicy rainbow berries to color the noodles? rainbow rhythmic idea, Rainbow Ruby! Back in a flash! Now let's figure out how to make the noodles longer. Hmm. My arms are too short to stretch really long noodles all by myself. I'll need a volunteer. Don't worry, Rainbow Ruby. I'm holding on nice and tight. Long noodles coming right up. Thunderbell, wait! Stretch, 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 stretch. Stretch. Rainbow Berry Delivery! It's a berry bonanza! <gasps> a giant noodle monster! I'll save you, Rainbow Ruby! Whoop. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Perfect, but first, we 
still need to make longer noodles. Perhaps my trunk could be useful. Great idea! <laughs> Thanks, Ling Ling. Your trunk is great for stretching out noodles. <laughs> Now we just have to find a way to get the juice from these berries onto the noodles. <laughs> That's it! The poppies can squish the juice from the berries. Ruby. Where did you learn to do that? Um, Choco taught me. Ruby, didn't hear you come in. I've been concentrating on finding a new idea for a toy. I can help. Huh. Uh, I'm going to go look at my toys to get some ideas. <laughs> Hurry, Choco. They need our help in Rainbow Village. Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! <laughs> mm, uh, Rainbow Ruby, thank goodness you're here. Something's terribly wrong with Princess Kiki. What happened, Mayor Ling Ling? Well, it's... Oh, you better come see for yourself. Oh. Hi, guys. Uh. What are you looking at? Huh? <laughs> now that's something I haven't seen before. Oh, we have no idea why she's floating. We tried everything, but we can't wake her. Hmm. hmm. Maybe there's a clue inside her castle. Come on. Yeah. Let's go look. Excuse me, big box thingy. Huh? Huh? I've never seen this box before. Mm. Hmm? Hmm? It's a note from Princess Kiki. Mm. Huh? Dear friends, <gasps> I only have a short time to write this because I'm falling under a sleep enchantment. It happens to princesses. A sleep enchantment? <gasps> so that's it. To wake me up, please have this music box play as it uh -huh. moves around me in a circle. Heartfelt thanks, Princess Kiki. Well, let's see if it works. Try letting it go. It's working. Huh? Huh? We'll turn it much more this time. Yeah. 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 
Jukebox can't play music around Princess Kiki, we'll make the music ourselves. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. and we'll all form a marching band. I've got my marching baton to twirl and keep the rhythm, a flag for Chalco to wave as we march, <laughs> and a whistle to signal everybody. We'll march around Princess Kiki playing the same music as the music box. Rockin' rainbows! Great idea! <laughs> Thunderbell, will you please round up some more friends to play in our band? Oh, I'm on it, Rainbow Ruby. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Before we march to wake up Princess Kiki, let's practice playing the song. One, two, three, and... is so much bigger than you, maybe he should take the horn. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. Works for me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you can have his flute. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> much better! That flute was tricky with my big hands, but I have plenty of puff. <laughs> Now let's try playing while we march around Princess Kiki. Ready? Let's march! <laughs> oh no! What happened? Sorry, Rainbow Ruby. I guess we all marched at different speeds. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? I know. I'll toot the beat on my whistle for everyone to hear. That way, we'll all march to the same rhythm. Let's try again. One, two, three, and. song like this on my trunk before. Oh. 
That idea, Ruby. How'd you come up with it? Oh, I get lots of ideas. Playing with my toys. <laughs> I can't wait for these seeds to grow into flowers. <laughs> huh? Sounds like the birds are having a party up there. <laughs> Down here, too. Huh? Um, I think Chuck would feel better in my room, away from these birds. Huh. Okay, hon. Thanks for your help. Hurry, Chucko. Looks like they need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Chucko? See if he knows what's going on. Let's go. Good luck, Rainbow Ruby. Huh? <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Hey, Mr. Sloth. Hi, Chirpy. Hello, Rainbow Ruby. I just came from Town Square, where there are a bunch of little birds that look like Chirpy. Do you know who they are? Chirpy's friends. They've come for a visit, and we're going to greet them. Friends? I wonder why they're bothering everyone, flying at their heads. That's where they like to stand, on heads, just like Chirpy. I sure hope everyone makes them feel welcome. Mm. Stand on heads? So that's what they're trying to do. Choco, let's hurry back and tell everyone. Chirpy's friends. They're nice. They just love standing on people's heads. Ooh. Huh? Huh? Uh-huh. I wouldn't mind the standing so much. Huh? It's all the slip sliding around that's the problem. Hmm. I need to think. 
figure out something for the birds to stand on so they won't slip off. And that's comfortable for all of you. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. by being a hat designer. I'll design hats that look good and feel good and are good for standing birds, too. I've got my sewing kit, a sketch pad and pencil to draw designs, a measuring tape for measuring heads, and felt, cardboard, feathers, jewelry, and flowers for making the hats. Thunderbell, you can be first. <laughs> Follow me to the design studio. too round and slippery for the birds to stand on. Maybe something like this. Huh? So, what do you think? <gasps> oh, I love it! My ears can stand up inside! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Getting the size of your head. <sighs> Making the shape of the hat. <laughs> Great! How does it feel? Uh, hmm? Yeah. Um, hmm? feels a little tight around the ears. Hmm, looks like we still need more space for your ears. <laughs> ah, ooh, I like it. Hopefully the birds will, too. Tell everyone I'm here to design hats if they want one. You got it. Thanks, Rainbow Ruby. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I love it. It's very royal. <laughs> their visit if they keep falling off. Birdies fall down! I need to figure out how to make the hats easier for the birds to stay on. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mr. Sloth. Huh? 
Chirpy stays on mm -hmm. holding the sprout on top of Mr. Sloth's head. Hmm. How can I make the hats like that? Hmm. Kiki, has your bird been there all this time? Oh, yes. She's quite settled. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. That's it! These birds are happy standing on something long and thin, like Mr. Sloth's sprout and Kiki's feathers. So I just need to add something like that to the other hats. <laughs> I've got some feathers, flowers, and some other things that should help the birds stand on your hats. <laughs> it works! The birds can stay on! Just like Chirpy. <laughs> <laughs> a little thunder and a little bird make me extra dapper. <laughs> 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 oh, just something for the birds. <laughs> what a lovely idea. Yep, I know about making birds happy. 